Mitragyna speciosa, more commonly known as Kratom, is an evergreen tree native to Southeast Asia and is a member of the coffee family. Kratom has become a very popular natural plant medicine remedy for a variety of physical and mental health issues. Kratom is something called a partial opioid agonist. Opioid agonists are natural or synthetic substances that bind the mu opioid receptors in the brain and body. Kratom is not a full opioid agonist, but rather only a partial opioid agonist. This means it only activates the opioid receptors partially. This means that it's not as strong as most other opioids. Thus, Kratom could be described as a natural plant that binds to the opioid receptors in a gentle and soothing way, which enables it to be used medicinally for a variety of both physical and mental health issues. Kratom's pain-killing and opioid with withdrawal relief effects are due to its active alkaloids. Mitragynine, the major alkaloid in Kratom, is a partial opioid agonist producing similar effects to morphine. An interesting minor alkaloid of Kratom, 7-hydroxymitragynine, has been reported to be more potent than morphine. Both Kratom alkaloids activate supraspinal, mu, and delta opioid receptors, which is the main reason the plant alleviates withdrawal symptoms in opioid users so well. Kratom has a wide range of medicinal benefits that many people don't even know about. The medicinal effect effects of Kratom are highly flexible and diverse due to its unique alkaloid profile, which is unlike any other plant known to exist. These effects are pain relief, opioid withdrawal relief, opioid maintenance transitional substance, mood lifting, energy promotion, anxiolytic, depression relief, insomnia relief, immune system stimulation, nootropic, so cognition enhancing, anti-leukemic, anti-malarial, anti-inflammatory, lowers blood sugar. In addition to this large range of medicinal applications, Kratom also has other positive secondary properties such as high antioxidant and vitamin content, which has made it worthwhile for general health purposes as well. Here is a list of some of the main identified active alkaloids present in Kratom. 7-hydroxymitragynine, analgesic, painkiller, opioid receptor, agonist, anti-diarrheal, anti Mitragynine, Analgesic painkiller, opioid receptor agonist, antidiarrheal, antitusive, mild stimulant. Speciogyanine, smooth muscle relaxer. Mitrophylline, muscle relaxer, vasodilator, antihypertensive, antiamnesic, immune system stimulant, antileukemic. Epicatchin, EGC, antioxidant, antiviral, antimutagenic, antileukemic, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, commonly found in green tea. 9-hydroxychorinanthidide, painkiller, analgesic. Corinanthidide, mu opioid antagonist, isomitrophylline, immune system stimulant, isomitrophylline, immune system stimulant, isorincophylline, immune system stimulant, ciliophylline, analgesic anatusive, cornoxine A, dopamine mediator, cornoxine B, dopamine mediator, agmalacine, sedative, antiadrenergic, increased blood flow to the brain, smooth muscle relaxer. Rhincophylline, anti-inflammatory vasodilator, antihypertensive. Speciociliatine, mild opioid receptor agonist. Speciophylline, anti-leukemic. Due to Kratom's ability to bind to opioid receptors and cause opioid effects, such as euphoria, pain relief, mood lift, etc., this does mean it has the potential to be habit-forming. After long-term daily use, it's possible to develop a physical dependence on Kratom. This means that if you come off of it cold turkey after you have a Kratom dependence, you might suffer from some types of withdrawal symptoms, both physical and psychological. You could have mild symptoms, moderate or even worse, or no symptoms at all, and each person is so different in this matter. Most Kratom experts believe that Kratom is safe in almost every regard as there have been no known deaths from this plant except in combination with other dangerous substances. Key Concepts The science of Kratom shows us why this plant is able to help so many people with so many different physical and or psychological health issues. Some of the most common Kratom usages are for opioid withdrawal, withdrawal from other drugs, anxiety disorders, depression disorders, bipolar disorder, ADHD, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, chronic pain, stress, overwhelm, and much more. Unfortunately, on the other side of the coin is people that become extremely addicted to Kratom at high dosages and it ruins their health and ruins their life. Disclaimer, this video is for informational use only and is not medical advice. Always do a lot of research on a topic such as Kratom. Always talk to your doctor before trying anything like Kratom or anything else of that matter. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching.